Hey guys, welcome back to Tier List Official, the channel where we rank anything and everything into tiers. Once again, you are blessed with the presence of myself, Lucy, and Courtney, the two hosts that you should care about the most. The only two hosts you should care about the most. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Just don't tell Landon that. Today is a list that's specifically for Courtney over here and you may just be the biggest Disney fan I've ever met in my entire life. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah. You're also a big horror fan, which I am. So we've combined the two and we're bringing you the top 10 scary Disney movies. Let's jump right in. <laughs> choo choo. I don't know how to do it. How does he do? <laughs> I don't. Welcome to Tier List. This is where we rank anything and everything into tiers. S stands for superior god mode. A, absolute dominance. B, for basic. C, who cares? D, for trash. F, get the f out of here. So in no particular order, we have the witches. Return to Oz. Lion King. Toy Story 3. Fantasia. Bambi. Sad. Pinocchio live action. The Black Cauldron. <laughs> it says it there, but I need Hocus to. Pocus. And something wicked this way comes. So, should we start with the witches? Let's start with the witches. Oh, this film. This film traumatized me as a kid. Yes. The one scene, this scene, where they pull off their masks, uh -huh. I had to hide behind my sofa yeah. every single time. Terrifying. Even to this day, I watched it like I think last year or the year before, and I still like part of me wants to close my eyes. Oh really? Yeah, it really triggers me, and as I don't an, know what it is. As an adult, I'm okay with it, but it, yeah, as a kid, like that face, terrifying. Ooh. They're remaking this film. Yes. So that's the Grand High Witch. And in the new remake, they're gonna be play. The Grand High Witch is gonna be played by Anne Hathaway, which is really, really cool. I'm excited for that, but yeah. they've got to do some good makeup for her because she doesn't have a scary face. Exactly. The thing that scared me about the original witches was Angelica Houston, who played the Grand High Witch. Even with her human face on, she scared the crap out of me. True. Just like yeah. that scene where she pushes the baby's carriage down the hill. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. God, horrible. Yeah. I think it's safe to say that this film is an S. Yes. Right? I agree. Yeah. Next up we have Pinocchio. Live action though. Mm. So I don't think the animated one was that scary, but the live action one, have you seen it? Mm -hmm. There's something about it that yeah. terrified me. Yeah. I can't remember specifically, but there was they were at like an amusement park and he went on a ride and then he started growing antlers. Yeah. And then someone pulled them off. Yeah. It was really traumatic, but it's also I feel like with every roll doll, anything that's adapted from his books is horrible. Like yes. Matilda, that's a story of a young girl that's abused and she the has to choky. go. Yeah. She gets locked in the chokey. There's nails and crap in there. Like, she could die. Her parents don't love her. She goes to live with the teacher. Like, yeah, it's a sad that, film. That's a sad film. Okay, so I don't think Pinocchio was terrifying, but it did linger with me. There's parts that I just don't like watching. I don't like watching anymore because it makes me feel sad. I'd say D because it's not like that scary, but it was yeah, it when, was creepy. Yeah, like when it we stays. Are. You're right. It stays yeah. with you for a while. I just can't watch it again. It makes me sad. Okay, <laughs> next we have my favorite Halloween movie of all time. I don't care how old I am. Pocus Pocus. Oh, the best. The best. Film. So good. So good. I love this movie. I think what scares me the most about Hocus Pocus is. I don't like the beginning when they lure the girl. Yes, and the then, song. Oh, I love that song though. Like Sarah just The Come Little Children. Yeah, I'm like, I'll come. <laughs> the one me. song I didn't like when I was younger is I Put a Spell on You. Oh, it's creepy. Like I literally would cover my ears because they're like, cover your ears. And oh, I yeah, do it because I'm like, I don't want to get taken by the witches. True. See you that know? scene, I hated that scene when I was younger because it used to annoy me, it upset me. I think it made me cry because I was like, why oh. are none of the adults listening? Like, <laughs> the parents don't want to listen to the kids, yeah. <laughs> like people are dying, <laughs> children are dying. It was dark. <laughs> it was a dark film. It was so sad. And the cat gets hit when by he gets run over. Oh my god! But then he he comes back. He it's poops fine. Back up. But there's always that moment when you like oh, maybe he won't come back this yeah. time. And then the little girl is crying, and then you're crying. But then he's fine. And then we have the part in the school where they lock them in oh. the. I want to say furnace, yeah, it's like, but why it's like a that heater. Have that room? And then it's literally showing them like melting. <laughs> yes, that's so that's so not true. what you want to show the children. Oh, that's a, it's a dark film. It and then the beginning, all three witches get hung, and it, yeah. there's a lot going on in that film. A lot. But it is still one of the best films it's really good. ever. If it was Halloween ranking movies, it'd be an S. Oh yeah. But what like, are we thinking? Like as children, how scary did we find as it? As children, okay. yeah. I would say B. I'd say a B too. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a safe bet. Perhaps the scariest, oh. the scariest of the lot, <laughs> Bambi. <laughs> the picture's so frightening. I know. <laughs> All the colors. 
nice. It may seem nice. <laughs> That's what they tried to tell you when you were young. <laughs> They're like, this is just a film about a little deer it's and its family. Deception. Yeah, little did we know it would it would end in death. Yeah. No, even at the end. It's like midway no. through, the mother gets shot. I will never forget the time I watched this when I was four years old. I was four. Four years oh, old. That's too young. I was no. lying in my mum and dad, my mum and dad's bed on an old VHS, had it in, and For I was For those of you sobbing. who don't know, that's what we used to watch when we were kids. Yeah. There were no DVDs. No, chunky tapes, you know? <laughs> and if you had to rewind, like, you could manually rewind yeah. the tape, or, you know. Um, <laughs> or rewind, <laughs> you're familiar with that. Um, but I remember, I only ever watched this film once, and it was that time. To this day? And I will never watch it again. Ooh. Even my mum hasn't seen it because I wouldn't let her watch it. And I said, wow. you not watch this film. It was traumatizing. It, it's the most I've cried ever. Yeah. I think it's the last time I cried. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more scared to watch it again because of the death. <laughs> because of the memories? <laughs> I'd go with A. <laughs> You'd go with A? But Whoa. as a film alone, it's definitely not that high. I'd say it's like a C. <sighs> God, you want to put it at a You've B? You've got nerves of steel, don't you? Put it at a B? I'm putting it B. Okay. B. Okay, next we have the Black Cauldron. Like, just look at this face. Terrifying. That picture is scary. I don't yeah. remember much about this film. So basically, the <laughs> Horned King summons an army of the undead. And watching this as a child, and the army of the undead, they have this creepy song that they dance to, and they're all Ugh. skeletons, and they're all creepy. Ugh. It's pretty... I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. It's pretty traumatic. I think I've probably seen that film you must once. Have. Yeah. Maybe when I was younger, I've retained nothing. Maybe it <laughs> scarred me so much. I think I've only it. watched it once, but I remember it being Really terrifying. horrible? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? I'd say maybe an... A? Whoa. It's up there. God. That's like that not undead film we should army. be watching. <laughs> Jesus. All right, should we go, eh? We'll go I A. trust you. All right. Next up, we have Return to Oz. Ah. For those who don't know, because not many people saw this film. I watched it a lot growing up, it traumatized me. It's set after the Wizard of Oz and Dorothy returns to the Emerald City but it's destroyed mm. and then an evil like empire has taken over everything and it's really scary and she's got to help it's like new versions of the characters so that's the Scarecrow oh, um, the okay. Tin Man and I think that's supposed to be the is that oh, Toto the reindeer? Yeah. Supposed to be Toto? Or? Perhaps, I can't really remember. The reindeer, no, the reindeer was a flying bed. I'm pretty sure. Right. There was a lot <laughs> happening in the film, but it was really dark and really uncomfortable, and there was an evil woman who would like go like this, and then her facial expressions would change, or her face would disappear. Mm. It was very frightening. Um, I've not watched it as an adult, because I won't return to it, because I remember <laughs> it scared me so much. It's terrifying. They didn't need to make a sequel to The Wizard of Oz. It was really unnecessary, and it's probably why not many people have heard of it. <laughs> Return to Oz. Don't watch it. I'll give it, I think it's A. Honestly. A? Really? It really? It's scarier. It's definitely scarier than Hocus Pocus and oh, Batman. Oh, okay. It was frightening. Okay. Yeah. All right. So next we have maybe the scariest Disney film of them all. Okay. Just for this one particular scene. Oh, I know what's coming. The Lion King. It's horrible. This is a story of All family about. angst, <laughs> how a brother would kill a brother just to get on top, traumatizing. Like it's pitching families against families. What is it teaching kids? Murder is good. About murdering <laughs> your sibling just to rise above and become king of the pride lands. But it wasn't, it didn't turn out great for Scar because apparently he becomes a rug in the Hercules film. He does, so you yeah. know all is well in the end. Yeah, because he's dead. Yeah. Oh no, in Hercules he was the headpiece. Oh, he was the headpiece. He was the headpiece. He was a rug in another movie though, you're right. Wow, he got he around. Just, yeah. His dead body <laughs> got around. Like as a kid, oh. this makes this scene makes you cry. It's so sad because there's always that moment where you think, oh, he's gonna make it. Yeah. Every time you watch it, you think the outcome might be different that time. Never and is. It, He's running with them and then he just yeah. disappears. And then poor Simba comes I know. down and he puts his like paw around it. So a brother kills his brother and then he falls to his death and then his little child cub comes up to him and starts crying and you just lose, you lose your So I'd say this one. That's pretty high. It's an, an S, I'd say. Whoa. Was that this scene, for this yeah, scene alone? Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Alone. It's up there with the witches. Yeah because I will not watch it again. <laughs> That's high. 
Next up we have Fantasia. Classic. Now, probably people will be shocked that I picked this, but I remember every time I started trying to watch this film, it terrified me. And I don't really know why. Because <laughs> like, the rooms have yeah, hands. Like, like everything like, about it is really uncomfortable and I don't like Mickey Mouse. You don't like, like Mickey? He's all right, but I don't like his voice. He's sinister. <laughs> I don't, I truly don't touch him. Touch him? <laughs> That's good. You probably shouldn't <laughs> touch him. I don't trust him and I don't touch him, <laughs> just just so we know. Don't call the cops. <laughs> uh, there's just something horrible about this film that I've, again, like it's one of those films I've only seen once and I won't watch it again because it freaks me out. It's known for its amazing music, but I agree with you actually. Because yeah. I, yeah, I don't like it. It's yeah. just creepy, it's something about it. It's I don't the combination. Like. Yeah. yeah, I feel like there's a dark message in it. Yeah. Fan theory. <laughs> I'm gonna go see. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, so next we have Toy Story 3 in particular because of this scene, but oh. all the Toy Stories are scary. There's they, scary parts oh. in all of them. I'll never forget Sid. The, Sid. Oh, and he, all his little toys. Oh, he was screwed up. He's probably a ce serial killer today. Yeah. Like as a grown up. Probably. Yeah. Well, didn't we see which Toy Story did it show Sid as like the garbage man? He was like wearing the same shirt as Sid. Oh, and, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean. True. That's where he gets all his collection of pieces from. Yeah, he just grabs garbage. stuff from the truck mm -hmm. and then oof, he's screwed up. Don't like it. Yeah. But I thought this one was the scariest because literally mm. the toys we grew up watching for years, we fell in love with, they are going to be burnt to death. All of them together. It's so sad. So I was sad. like, that's very traumatizing. Terrifying. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> I'd I, say, what would you say? I think it's high. It's up there for sure. I think mean, A. Yeah. High A? It's a high A. It's an A plus. <laughs> All right, finally, we have Something Wicked This Way Comes. Now, I saw this like maybe once or twice when I was young, but essentially, it is about a carnival, mm -hmm. and the carnival like ringleader, and he is an evil man, and he like feasts on the souls of people, mm -hmm. and then everything's just weird. It's one of those just Scary it reminds films. me of a movie like Oliver. Is it kind of like Oliver? Yeah, it like, looks oh, like the Oliver. child catcher. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then these little people, look at them. Look how terrifying. Oh my god, that one looks so sad. Yeah, because he has no soul anymore. <laughs> he has it. It's horrible. Jeez. So traumatizing. So I'm going to go like in between S and A because this film, not good. I'm definitely gonna watch Hocus Pocus later this week. Oh my god, you should. I know it's only September, but that's what you've got to watch all your Halloween I know, films because I do. when the baby comes, I know. No more films. Hocus Pocus <laughs> is gonna be his first film. Oh, I'm gonna just sit him beside me and be like, watch. And then the witches. And then the witches. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be one messed up. He's baby. gonna be like, no, I don't like this world. <laughs> well. There we have it. Do you guys agree with our picks? If not, how would you rank these movies? Just don't disagree with us, because no, we- they're all right. We, we got it right, so. <laughs> don't even comment, but comment, because <laughs> it's good for us. <laughs> Leave us with some feelings in the comments down below, as well as what tier list you would like us to do next. Make sure you pick a Disney one in there somewhere yes. for Courtney. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. And until next time, see you later. See ya.